what's going on YouTube um, so if you're looking at the thumbnail image um, don't get creeped out something I just I've really been praying a lot lately um, I get a lot of prophetic dreams I get a lot of things for things to come and I haven't really been getting a whole lot of um, end times dream in, in, in a while so I just wanted to share with you what's been in my spirit and uh, if you if your spirit in is agreement with what I'm saying um, just let me know in the comments and uh, share this with somebody um, and pray about everything I'm about to say here you know because everything we need to do we need to bring it before the Lord test the spirits amen um, so you know last night I was with my wife we were praying praying uh, just a lot of things we've been seeing on the news and in the media I saw a video the other day where um, Donald Trump was on an interview with Dr. Phil and they were speaking about all the military men from China, Russia, North Korea, Iraq, Syria uh, that have infiltrated inside the United States. They've came in here and they're, they're in here by the millions um, and they showed a map of all the different areas in the United States where China has bought all of this land, all of our agricultural land. They've bought land around military bases, which is 100% strategic. Uh, why would you buy uh, all the land around uh, nuclear bases and all these different things? And you know, Donald Trump and um, Dr. Phil, they're talking about this. If you guys are wondering, I'm at work, so I'm just doing this video. <clears throat> um, so they're talking about all these things. And uh, I prophesied about a couple months ago, many, actually many months ago, maybe almost a year ago, that I saw an invasion taking place in America. Uh, you can see it on my YouTube channel. Just look through my videos and you'll see the video where I shared that the Lord gave me a vision of I saw troops, foreign boots on our on our soil, guys. And you know, I wasn't even going to go in this direction, but I feel like I need to uh, talk about this. There is an invasion taking place, and most people don't see it. Most people don't think it because they're so comfortable in in this world, in this nation. And if you don't wake up and see what's going on here, see, there's there's an invasion here. The land is already bought. The troops are already in here. And I was uh, talking about this actually with a brother in Christ the other day. I believe what these are are tribulation troops. It's crazy to even say that. Like I, you know, just saying that it. Normally, I would never want to use those kind of words to say these things or be that preacher that's always talking tribulation end times, you know. But this isn't just a couple illegals coming in here and, and you know and there's a there's an inside job going on a foundation's being prepared i've been feeling this so strong in my spirit there's something horrible coming to this nation before this year ends and, and last night i was i was in prayer with my wife praying asking the lord lord show us things um speak to us if there's anything we need to know because the, the church should be praying the church should be consistently praying asking the lord you know what is what is coming so we can warn the people and that way prophecy will also win people to christ when they see that god spoke and he and it came through and you know he's alive because god is alive for those christians who don't think prophecy is not alive and and then that they don't want to operate in the prophetic you're, you're missing out on a, on a on a gift of the of the holy ghost and something that edifies the church and the body of christ um and i prophesied this invasion was coming i also prophesied that there's a blackout coming and these things, I prophesied them before any media was talking about it. As shortly after, now you have the news saying that we're, we're being invaded by all these different people through the border. And now, after I talked about, I prophesied about a blackout, which, by the way, it's on my YouTube channel. I did it a while back, a long time ago, actually. Now you hear that these people that have come in here, they want to shut, they want to attack our power grid. And now you see all these things about power grid failures, movies about power grid failures, the all this stuff started to come after it. And I'm not saying that to toot my own horn or, you know, I was the first guy. I know there's other men and women of God who prophesied it as well. 
But just to let you know that God spoke first. I want to make that clear. Forget about me. God spoke first. And he forewarned us. So when we were praying last night, I heard the word bloodshed. There's a bloodshed coming. Thankfully for us as Christians, if you're a Christian, you have nothing to worry about. Because the blood has already been shed for you and for me. Praise Jesus. They're saying that brings me joy. The blood has already been shed for you and for me. But if you're not in Christ and you're watching this video, I suggest you repent and give your life to Jesus. But I, I heard bloodshed was coming. I opened up the scriptures and and I my wife opened up the scriptures and we just kept getting the same stuff like the Lord is going to let wrath be unleashed here. We need to be praying for this nation. I spent time praying for the nation. I was praying for the president. I was praying for this world and praying those who could possibly be impacted, you know, that God will have mercy and that, you know, that no life would perish because I'm not here to hope that bad things happen. My prayer is that if God is showing these things, it's, maybe it's because we can pray and, 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 and these things can be turned around and and, and and it doesn't have to happen. You know, just like Jonah, you know, it, maybe this is a Nineveh situation and I believe that's what this is. I believe this is a Nineveh situation and we have the ability to pray and maybe this just doesn't have to happen. But if it does happen, the invasion's here. They're in here. The blackout, it's, it's just a matter of time. See, people, because we prophesy things and if they don't see it happen tomorrow or next week or in the, you know, the next couple months, they don't want to believe it. You know, and I know you might be watching this. God has given you dreams. You've seen dreams and you wonder why you get dreams of these crazy, chaotic. I, I, I want you to write that in the chat, in the comments. Have you had dreams of this very chaotic things going on where you're like, it's almost like something out of a movie that you would never think will happen. I think those times are coming. And one of the words that the Lord gave my wife is that she said, um, unrest is coming. Civil unrest is coming once again. It's coming once again. And I, and I feel the urgency to, to prepare more than ever, guys. I, I, I honestly kind of strayed from talking about these things for a while because I don't want to be a resounding symbol. But prepare food, have water, have ways to defend your family. Something horrible is coming. And you need to be in a place to be able to protect you, your family, your loved ones. And prepare... Pre you know, pray and protect yourself spiritually, but also physically. There's a reason why Jesus told his disciples, sell what you have and go get swords. Persecution's already here. There's so many things. And I know the enemy's out for blood. He's out for, if you're a minister or a pastor or a leader, man, the enemy's out for your head. He's out for blood. But thankfully, he's out for blood. The blood, he's going to get the blood of Jesus coming against him. So it's not nothing to be afraid about, but it's something to be aware of. The Bible says, be, do, do, don't be ignorant to the tactics of the enemy. And I just feel so strong, you know, in my spirit. There's a bloodshed coming. There's a war about to take place. And there's a war that's going to take place on this soil, on this land. These people that are in here... They're not here to just hang out. The land that's been bought, it's not just there to just to say, I bought it. This is strategic. And at any moment, that button's going to get pushed. And things are going to activate. Things are going to accelerate. That's why I believe God is also moving a lot of his people, moving to different areas, different towns. Um, you know, I think the Lord is, you know, strategically placing um, people and places and things where they need to be connecting them. Make sure you're connected to a church. Make sure you're, you're connected with other believers. But guys, these things are coming. And I heard, I heard bloodshed. There's going to be some blood being shed. Let's keep praying. Amen. Uh, as the Lord keeps speaking to me and um, showing me things, I'll do more videos. But for now, that's all I got, guys. So God bless you. Share this video. Comment. Let me know what you think. And, um... We'll see what the Lord shows and what happens. Amen. But above all things, keep prayer. Don't lose hope. Don't let this make you afraid. Let it make you prepared.
the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you.